Hello you guys, it's Grace, and today I'm going to be starting my first episode of Doggy DIY. This summer, I am going to be starting a couple new series, and one of them is Doggy DIY, which is basically where I go find DIY dog stuff on Pinterest, YouTube, anywhere I can find dog stuff, or things that I have found for myself and I am going to be trying to make those things. We're gonna see how this turns out. Today I'm gonna be making a little box dog tug with some fleece. Oh, here's the fleece that I have. Um, I only have one color and you're generally supposed to use two to four different colors, but I'm just gonna go for it and see what happens. I'm just gonna use this side here. My laptop with the photo is over there, so if I'm looking over off screen a lot, that's why. It looks like each strand should be about an inch wide, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut four little strands of our fleece. Basically what I'm learning from this is that I'm really bad at cutting in straight lines. <laughs> okay, so I have my four strands of fleece. They're all pretty long. I'm not sure how long I need them to be, but we're just gonna go with it. So it looks like you start off by tying a knot at the top. There we are. We spread the knot four different ways. So we're just gonna spread it out. So it looks like that. And then you take the bottom, the loop closest to you, and you pull it over the loop to the left side, your left side. The top one loops over the one on the right, <laughs> so it looks like that. The one that goes off to the side loops through the little loop up here, and the one to this side loops through the loop down here. <laughs> and then it looks like you just pull all of your loops tight. Right. <laughs> so I have one of them down. So yay. So I'm gonna move the camera so you can see an up view of it so you can see what I'm doing. Alright, so my little tug is pretty much as big as it's gonna get from the amount of fabric I had. If you want a longer one, I would recommend using a super long strand of fabric. As you saw in the beginning, the strand of fabric was probably like that long, but it only makes a tug about half as long. Make sure that if you want a really long tug, you use a really long piece of fabric. So anyway, I'm to the end of how far I can make it by tucking along. So now I'm just going to start um, tying these into knots at the end so they stay put. For my first <laughs> tug toy made like this, I think it turned out okay. They're also pretty fun because you can like tug them and they're, they're, they seem pretty durable so that's cool. If you want to see more doggy DIY stuff in the future, be sure to give this video a thumbs up to let me know I should make more. Also comment below how your tug turned out if you made one with me and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. I'll see you next time. Bye! Oh boy.